I've just made some aerial hyperlapse with the Mavic. Let me show you how to do it. Now, let's start off with the flight. First, plan your flight path, whether it's a straight line, panning across, or rotate around an object. They all works really well. But I find circling around an object to be my favorite. Second, set up the camera capturing mode to interval. And depends on how long you want your hyperlapse footage to be, the time interval may vary. 3 or 5 seconds are what I normally use. You can go as low as 2 seconds if you shoot in JPEG format, minimum of 10 seconds if you shoot in RAW. And also make sure the white balance and focus are set on manual. Next, set up the intelligence flight mode. In this case, I will be using POI or point of interest mode to rotate around something. If you're not familiar with the intelligence flight mode, I encourage you to watch some tutorial first before trying out this hyperlapse. Now, once everything is set, start the intelligence flight mode, and it's very important that the speed is set as slow as possible. In this example, I'm setting my speed at 0.7 miles per hour. And don't forget to press capture. The drone will automatically capture the image at an interval across the flight path. Now the question is, when should I stop recording? The math is very simple. A video footage usually plays around at 24 or 30 frames per second. So each image that you take equates to one frame of footage. So 30 images will give you one second worth of footage. You can monitor the image count on top right corner of the screen to estimate the length of footage that is best fit your projects. After the flight, we should have a good batch of images for post-process. Let's import all images. You can make some minor color adjustments to all the images in Adobe Lightroom to make them slightly more vibrant by bringing out some contrast and color. But for the sake of simplicity in this tutorial, let's dive straight into video editing. In Final Cut Pro, I'm going to create a new project and set the video resolution to be 4K and the frame rate to be 30 frames per second. Now import all images to Final Cut Pro and notice each image are set at 5 seconds by default. So what you want to do is select all images by either highlight all image or hitting Ctrl A. Then to adjust all image to one frame, by hitting Ctrl D or by going to modify on top left corner and select change duration and type in the number 1 to make each individual image to be one frame. I have also enlarged the image to fill the entire frame and apply to all the images. To do that, copy the setting on the first image by hitting Command C Highlight all the images and to apply the settings to all images, hold down Command Shift V to apply. Hyperlapse never comes out buttery smooth the first time, even though the camera is stabilized by the gimbal. And that's because wind gusts or any environmental factor can cause minor shift in between shots. So we will need to smooth out the footage by stabilizing it in Final Cut Pro. And stabilization only works on video footage, so we need to first extract this project as video, then import it back to Final Cut Pro. Now the video hyperlapse footage is in. Click on stabilization on the right. It may take a couple seconds for the footage to render. Review the footage to see if it's smooth enough to your taste. If not, there are a few options under the stabilization that can smooth out the footage even more. But it may warp the footage and make it look artifact if you do it too much. So just play around with it and find the fine balance. Okay, you don't need a Mavic 2 to create an aerial hyperlapse, but it does simplify and streamline the entire production process. And it also generates a buttery smooth stabilized hyperlapse footage right off the SD card. But for those of you who is not planning on upgrading your current drone to a Mavic 2, you can use my tutorial and get out there and create some badass hyperlapse footage. Good luck! Like and 
subscribe. Follow my adventure on Instagram and Facebook. I'll see you until the next one.